Dear colleagues, friends and press freedom advocates around the world, thank you very much for this opportunity to address you today. I was really hoping to join you in Riga for this important event, but as you know, I'm attending the Freedom Online Coalition Conference in Ulaanbaatar, and I'm also paying the first official visit to Mongolia, and Mongolia is the youngest participating state of the OSC. Of course, we will be discussing ways to make sure the rights generally available to traditional media are also extended to our colleagues using the internet. As I speak today, journalists across the OSC region and beyond, which I observe and report on, as well as journalists worldwide, are in danger. No more so than in and around Ukraine, where journalists and journalism itself has been under attack for more than a year. While I'm talking about Ukraine specifically, what is happening there is also taking place on other continents and regions where war rages. The issues are worldwide in scope. The death toll of journalists in Ukraine approaches 10, with literally hundreds more having been the victim of attacks. Scores have been abducted or detained. Editorial offices of television and radio stations and newspapers have been vandalized. Attacks of any kind are simply not acceptable. Journalist safety must be guaranteed at all times, and those responsible for crimes against journalists must be brought to justice to prevent an environment of intimidation, fear and impunity from taking hold. But we also face an enemy that may have the power to destroy all we hold dear. The uncontrolled proliferation of propaganda. Propaganda is another ugly scar, an evil on the face of modern journalism. And in the battles in and around Ukraine, it rages unabated. Propaganda is especially dangerous when it dominates the public domain and crowds out real news, thereby distorting the marketplace of ideas. And state media is the main vehicle of propaganda. I call on governments, wherever they own media outlets, directly or by proxy, to stop corrupting the profession, to stop spreading propaganda. Because in the absence of real, critical journalism, democracy suffers and deliberate disinformation is the daily standard. Simply put, I call on governments across the world to get out of the news business. But I also believe it is time for journalists themselves, along with their professional associations and self-regulatory bodies, to take a long, hard look in the mirror and evaluate their role and consider the content they are producing. The propaganda evident in media today does a disservice to all credible, ethical journalists who have fought for and, in some cases, given their lives to produce real news. On this date of commemoration and celebration, I humbly suggest that all of us who have a stake in free media and free expression commit ourselves to changing the current small landscape of violence and intimidation and control and get back to our roots and our strength. Good, honest journalism, written without fear or distortion. I firmly believe we can do this. Happy World Press Freedom Day.